Good morning, guys. So this morning I am headed to the clinic. I'm doing a quality improvement project. But before I head there, I just want to make this medical school tag um, video. I was tagged by Ethan from um, EJ Fitness. If y'all haven't seen his channel, um, y'all should go check it out. He gives a lot of good like um, med school advice and fitness advice. So definitely go check out his channel if you haven't yet. So I took a screenshot of the list of questions. I'm just gonna read it from um, my phone. It gets so awkward vlogging in public. So I'm just gonna um, stop right here to do the questions. All right. First question is, who are you, name and age? My name is Precious and I am 23 years old. Um, next question, when did you start studying medicine or pre-med courses? Okay, so I graduated high school in 2012. Um, I graduated college and then I started college after that. So that's when I started my pre-med courses. And then I graduated college in 2015 and then I started med school in 2016. And now I'm in my second year, starting second year next week. Next question is, um, what made you choose the medical field? So, I wasn't one of those that was always like, uh, since I was a kid, I know I wanted to be a doctor, and I know a lot of people are like that, but I wasn't. But I did know that I wanted to go into medical field and have a career in the healthcare field. Um, I guess mainly because a lot of my family members are in the healthcare field. Um, like my mom's a nurse, and two of my sisters are nurse practitioners, and my brother's a pharmacist. So, you know, I always had an idea of going into the medical field. But it wasn't really until high school, you know, at first I was interested in becoming um, a physical therapist because I was into sports and I thought, you know, that'll be good combining like uh, two passions that I enjoy, you know, medicine and uh, sports and athletics. But, you know, I began to shadow a physical therapist and I was just like, this is not for me. I feel like I can have a bigger impact, um, you know, becoming a doctor and going that route. And especially after this last trip that I went to, um, that I did in Ghana this summer, I really saw like, um, you know, the kind of work that I can do, you know, international medicine and things of that nature and really serving the underserved. So that's really, um, you know, why I wanted to go into medicine. All right, the next question is, um, how did you choose your blog name slash username? Okay, so the name of my channel is White Coat Chronicles. Um, how did I come up with that? My sister actually came up with the name, so I was just brainstorming some ideas with her. And I knew I wanted to have like something like medical related in my uh, channel name, so I didn't want it to be like anything like student-wise, because I felt that would kind of like restrict me to just having this channel as a student. And you know, hopefully I'll be able to continue the channel, or I want to continue the channel, you know, after med school ends. So I thought of like something with White Co, and then she was like White Co Chronicles, you know, it's kind of like a journey like through medicine. So that's how I came up with the name. Next question is, how would you describe your blog channel? Okay, so the name is White Coat Chronicles. Um, see, White Coat is more than just, you know, being a doctor as far as like MD, you know, pharmacy students, um, PA students, um, physician assistant, nurse practitioners, uh, physical therapists, all these professions, um, you know, wear white coats. So I feel like my channel is just like a journey through medicine and not just, you know, your career or your time in school, but balancing life and all other things that you want to do, you know, outside of medicine. So I say it's just, you know, it's just a journey. And it's also showing that, you know, medicine is possible, you know, med school is possible. A lot of students get discouraged thinking that, um, you know, I don't have the grades, I don't have the scores, I don't have the financial means, but, you know, where there's a will, there's a way, and there is an opportunity for you out there, if, you know, if you really work hard. The next question is, um, what is your favorite quote? My favorite quote is, God is the perfect poet. Next question is, um, what is your best memory in medical school? So throughout first year, I would say Lampoon's was my best memory. That was pretty fun. Our class um, put on a show. It was called Netflix and Chill. I made a vlog on that. Um, and it was just like really a big class effort to put on this show and it turned out really good. So that was my best memory for first year. Next question is, what's one course you struggle with? I definitely say respiratory and embryology. I just, I don't know if I have respiratory down yet, but I did not like that course at all. Um, yeah, that one was a struggle. And embryology, um, yeah, I just didn't enjoy that either. So respiratory and embryology, those are the two courses that I struggle with. Thank you. <laughs> the next question is, um, what is your favorite book? Uh, favorite book. 
Well, in middle school, I read those um, those books, the series of unfortunate events. Anybody else read that? Um, with like Count Olaf and like he had adopted, I think, his nieces and nephews. They ended up coming out with a movie for that and a Netflix series, which I haven't seen a Netflix series yet. But the most recent book I read was um, Charlemagne the God. He's a radio host of The Breakfast Club. Uh, he came out with a book called Black Privilege. Opportunity comes to those uh, who don't wait. And um, yeah, that was a pretty good book. And I also read uh, Sheryl Sandberg's Lean In book, which it was, it was, it was okay. Next question is, what do you do in your free time? Outside of school, um, I'd say make YouTube videos, um, play tennis. I love to play tennis and um, hang out with friends. Next question is, what do you want to major or specialize in? Um, I'm interested in going into emergency medicine. Um, throughout college, I did a lot of shadowing through different specialties and emergency medicine just really stuck with me the most. I enjoyed it the most. And even during my first year, um, I did shadowing in the emergency department. My first day shadowing um, in the emergency department, they had a patient come in who had um, cardiac arrest, which means, you know, your heart just stopped beating. And the physician that I was shadowing looked at me and was like, do you want to go up there and do CBR? And I'm like, you know, are you sure? I'm only a first year student. He was like, don't say no, don't say no. So I took my white coat off, took my stethoscope coat off. I hopped up on the table and I started doing chest compressions on this patient. Like, it was such an experience. Um, they did chest compressions for about maybe 30 minutes. The patient did not make it. And yeah, that was definitely an experience. My first day shadowing here, at least in the ER, and for that to happen and to have that experience, um, that definitely stuck out. But yeah, I want to go into emergency medicine, definitely. Next question is, who do you look up to? Um, I definitely say um, my mom. She's a very hardworking woman, and she's a great example. Next question is, how do you study productively? Um, I made a video on um, like my methods for studying, and you can check that video out but I guess just like um, you know it has to be a good environment um, study productively what else wow there was a there was an inmate being um, transferred out of the hospital by a police officer yeah but studying productively definitely finding the right location so for me it's either my apartment or a coffee shop I don't study too much on campus um, you know make sure I'm reviewing uh, periodically uh, the material so it sticks in my head. Um, make sure if I have a lecture the day of, I'm looking at that material the day of, you know, so I won't get behind. And, um, you know, just really staying on top of things, being an active learner, not studying passively, doing practice questions to make sure I'm really understanding the material that I've been studying. Yeah. Next question is, how do you stay motivated in school? Um, yeah, sometimes it is hard to stay motivated when you're constantly just doing book work, book work. But I definitely feel like, um, you know, I did shadow my first semester uh, of med school. And I feel like that, just getting that clinical exposure, really helps you see the big picture, see why you're there. And, you know, why you started this journey in the first place. That's definitely motivation, having those times, you know, outside of the classroom. And the last question is, um, what are your best tips for um, future med students? Um, I'd say your first semester, starting out your first year, um, find out what works best for you as far as study habits and um, how to study productively. Uh, find out that find that out early, stick to it, and um, you know don't listen to too much outside noise. Yes, medical school is difficult; it's four long years, but make the most of it. Um, you know, still live your life, still enjoy your life, and um, just have fun along this journey. All right, so that is it. That is all the questions on this medical school tag. Um, I'm about to head into the clinic now. Uh, like I said, second year starts next week. So uh, next Sunday, I'll have my first vlog from my second year of med school. So make sure you tune into that. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you subscribe. And if you have any suggestions of future videos I should do, please leave it in the comment sections. And I'll see you next week. Bye.